Boys and girls watching, today we are going to do a fun paper for activity. We're going to get to paint today and we're going to get to get out Peter Pointer to help us do that. But first, let's look at our paper. We have a beautiful farm scene and I see some animals are grazing over in the pasture. What kind of animals are those, Jonathan? Lambs. The little lambs or little sheep, that's right. And it looks like the mama lamb is over there with all her little baby lambs. And oh, they look like they're having lots and lots of fun right there. Oh, they're having a lot of fun. So we're gonna color our tree trunk right here. And then for our flowers, we're gonna use our Peter Pointer to make our flower right here. Now, do you see my flowers right here? Did I smear in all the petals? No. no, I just use Peter Pointer and we're going to do that together in just a little bit. So first though, who made the flowers? Oh. God did it. What kind of flowers do those look like? Blossoms. Blossoms. They do. They look like blossoms. So I wonder what they're going to turn into. Apples. They just might. They just might turn into apples. So class, stand and let's say our apple poem. Get out your two little apples. Boys and girls watch and join us. Way up high in the apple tree, two little apples smiled at me. I shook that tree as hard as I could. Down came the apples. Mmm, they were good. Oh, I do like apples. Quietly turn your chair into the table and take out this paper right here. Boys and girls watching you prepare as well. Go ahead and get out your crayons so we can do the first step of our paper. Milo, I'm going to help you with your chair. Move it all the way over. Remember, it needs to be all the way over on here. Good. Put your crayons right on your name tag. Go ahead and open them up. Now, what color did God make the tree trunks? Brown. Brown, that's right. So we're going to use the same color, and I'm going to go in one direction. I'm going to go up and down, up and down when I color. So I'm taking out my brown crayon. I made sure Mommy and Daddy are holding on tight, and look how carefully I'm coloring. Do you see that I'm not coloring on my flower? So I have to go really slow as I go up and down, up and down to color in my tree trunk. I wanna do a really nice job. I'm going to save these papers and we're gonna make our classroom so beautiful. And I'm gonna hang up these papers in our classroom. Boys and girls watching, maybe your on-site teacher will hang these up in your classroom. How nice. This will be so much fun. Or maybe you'll be able to take it home and hang it up in your house. It'll be a beautiful, beautiful paper to be able to save. Oh, I love it. All right. Take out your brown crayon. Brown crayon check. Daddy says. I want Mommy says. I love you. And the baby say. I job. Check that those babies are tucked in and we're going to go up and down. That's what I want to see. You're going to go up and down to color your tree trunk. Do a nice job. Take your time and go up and down, up and down. Very nice job. I see lots of children going up and down, up and down, following directions, making it nice and neat. And then your brown crayons go right back in your box. When you're done coloring, put your crayons back inside your desk because we're going to use paint next. So we don't need our crayon boxes in our desk or on top of our desk when we're done. So boys and girls watching, when you're done coloring your tree trunk, you can put your crayons away or off to the side so that you're gonna have room for paint as well. Very nice job. Let's sing the first verse of Mary Had a Little Lamb while the rest of us are finishing coloring and you may put your crayon boxes away. Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Mary had a little lamb whose fleece was white as snow. All right. 
right, Kayla, go ahead and put your crayon boxes away. And boys and girls watching, do you have your crayon boxes away ready to go? Good. All right, let's look right up here. I see lots of beautiful blossoms, and our blossoms are pink. So that's what we're going to do today. We are going to paint our blossoms. So your hands are in your lap. And your eyes are right here on Mrs. Stewart so that you can see what we're going to do. I want your papers to look beautiful as you follow directions. So hands on your head, hands on your nose, behind your ear, on your chin, and in your lap. Let's see. Oh, good. That was so quick obedience. Now eyes this way. Now I have my paint right here, and I'm going to put my Peter Pointer only. Only Peter Pointer is going to have paint on it because I'm not going to rub my fingers like this because it's not glue. We don't want to try to rub it in our hands like we do with glue because then we'll get it everywhere. It doesn't come off like that. So only Peter Pointer is going to have glue. And when I do my flowers, I'm going to start at the top. That way my knuckles, my knuckles right here, don't get paint on them because if we started at the bottom, you'd get it all over your clothes and your hands. So we're going to start all the way up here at the top. Watch Mrs. Stewart. I'm going to put my Peter Pointer in. My Peter Pointer's out, and I'm going to just touch one, two, three. And then my Peter Pointer's going to go right here. I'm not going to touch my clothes. I'm not going to touch anything. So we're going to practice first. Do not put your finger in your paint. Are you going to put your finger in your paint? No. Yeah. No, good. So we're just practicing. Peter Pointer up. Touch your nose. Peter Pointer up. Pretend to touch the paint, but don't touch the paint. Okay, Peter Pointer up. Now touch those three flowers. One, two, three. Peter Pointer up. Did you see how fast that was? That's how fast you're going to do it because we're not smearing. Did you see Mrs. Stewart go like this and color in the whole flower? No, because no, that's not what we're going to do. We're just using our fingerprint. It's a fingerprint paper. It's not a coloring paper. It's a fingerprint paper. So we're using our fingerprint. Everybody has a unique Fingerprint. Do you know you have your own fingerprint? It's only yours. Nobody has the same fingerprint as you. Isn't that cool how God made your fingers different? So when anybody looked at the fingerprint, they could tell that that was yours, not anybody else's. All right, let's practice. Let's do it again. Now, this time you may put it into the paint. Peter Pointer up. Put in the paint. Peter Pointer up. Touch those three flowers. One, two, three. Peter Pointer up. Peter Pointer in the paint. Peter Pointer up. Watch me. I'm going to these three flowers at the top. One, two, three. Your turn. Go for it. One, two, three. Use your helper hand to hold your, uh, your paper so that it doesn't move. All right, Peter Pointer up. Touch the paint. Peter Pointer up. Watch me first. One, two. Peter Pointer, touch your flowers. One, two. Peter Pointer up. Touch your paint. Peter Pointer up. Um, Jonathan, watch your finger that you're not getting it next to your friend. Watch me. One, two. Peter Pointer up. Touch your flower. One, two. Boys and girls watching, is this fun? And I like how I only see Peter Pointer is getting pink. Good job. All right, Peter Pointer in the paint. Peter Pointer up. Watch me. One, two. Your turn. One, two. Nice job. All right, here we go. Peter Pointer up. Touch the paint. Peter Pointer up. One, two. Two. Go ahead and touch. All right. Oh, watch your fingers. You're going to get it right there. All right. Let's see. Let me see your fingers. Oh, I love it. Now, boys and girls watching, now it's time to clean it off. So maybe your on-site teacher has a wipe or some kind of washcloth for you to wipe yours. And I'm going to give the boys and girls here a wet cloth. So we're going to wipe them off. Do not touch your paper with your flower. If you don't have a flower done, let's do that quickly. One, you don't have one done there. You didn't stay with the teacher. Let's see, did you get yours done? Okay. 
So everybody at this note, when you are done wiping your finger, so just one finger should be getting wiped, you're gonna put your paper towel in your plate. Put it in your plate and don't let it drip on your pretty paper. And then just put it right in your plate. Good job. Okay, here you go. All right, there's yours. Wipe your finger. Make sure you're not getting it on anything else. Wipe your finger. There you go. How's your cleanup, boys and girls watching? Did you follow direction? Did you just get it on your Peter Pointer and nothing else? I hope so. There you go. Nice job. And then go ahead and put your thing in your plate. Go ahead, go ahead, just put it right there. Nice work. Okay. Very nice job. Oh, these flowers look beautiful. What do we need to help these flowers to grow? Name one thing, Connor. What does it need to help the flowers to grow? Water. water. And what's another thing, Elijah? We have water and something that God put in the sky during the day. Rain. Well, rain, yeah. that's water. The sunshine, that's right. The sunshine, you are right. Good job. So that will help these blossoms to grow. And then there's some insects that need to come and pollinate these blossoms and that will help them to turn into the apples. What kind of insects are those? Butterflies. The bees and the butterflies. Yes, the bees, the butterflies, they will all help those blossoms. That is right. All right, well class stand, turn your chair to the front. Don't touch your paper. Turn your chair to the front because we want them to, or to dry. Let's turn to the front. This is beautiful paper, don't touch them. We're gonna let our blossoms dry for just a few minutes. So fun. All right, let me see your fingers, let's see. Did we keep them clean? Just Peter Pointer got pink, no clothes. Nice work, great job. How about you boys and girls watching? Did you just get it on Peter Pointer? Nice way to go. Well, let's finish our song about Mary lamb are you ready so we sang the first verse mary had a little lamb what comes next do you remember everywhere that mary went the lamb was sure to go so let's sing that part are you ready maybe we better start with the first verse again that kind of helps us all right here we go class stand <clears throat> mary had a little lamb little lamb little lamb mary had a little lamb whose fleece was white as snow Everywhere them it followed her to school one day, school one day, school one day, and followed her to school one day, which was against the rules. It made the children laugh and play, laugh and play, laugh and play, and made the children laugh and play to see the lamb at school. So the teacher turned it out, turned it out, turned it out. So the teacher turned it out and sent him straight away. Nice job, sit down. Oh, this is so fun. This paper was a lot of fun today. I love this paper. It is so fun. What other animal could be on the farm that could be out there grazing out in that pasture? What other animal could be out there? William. A horse. A horse, good job. There could be a horse. What else could be out there, Joseph? Cow. Cows, definitely. And what's something creamy we could get from a cow, Jonathan? Milk. Milk. Yes, we could get some milk from the cow. What else could be out by that barn? Let's see. Kayla. Horses. Some horses. Mm -hmm. You know what else sometimes we might see by the barn? Birdies. Some birdies. Pigs. Pigs. But I see something really soft with a little tail and tall ears. What do you think it is? <laughs> Bunnies, that's right. Girls, why don't you come to the front and let's say our poem about tall ears. Girls, watch them. Will you stand and join us? All right, boys, we're going to watch the girls do it. We'll let the girls do this one. Are you ready? All right, girls, watching. You do it with us. Here we go. Tall ears, twinkly nose. His ears are long, his tail is small, and he doesn't make any noise at all. Tall 
Excuse me. That was fun. Good job. Oh, yep. Pop back to your seat. Oh, why don't you sit down? Stay in your chair. Good job. Well, there is a little lamb there. What do lambs say when they get up in the morning? Yeah. Bah, let's sing about that. When sheep get up in the morning, they always say good day. When sheep get up in the morning, they always say good day. They say, <laughs> that is what they say. They say, that is what they say. Oh, this paper was a lot of fun today, and there's lots of animals on the farm. Boys and girls watching, I hope you had fun today with our fun painting project using Peter Pointer and getting to color these beautiful blossoms, and I hope you get to decorate something fun with your paper today.